One of the things to think about in design, and it's a key piece, is the tile that you use for the pool. Tile and the coping matching. A lot of people get really hung up on, oh, what color is it gonna be? And trying to match it to other things. I really believe that you stay in the families of colors because the tile is functional. It's something that is there, is there that when we, the water is filled to here, that's a smooth surface that makes it easy to clean because like any other uh, bathtub of water, you're gonna get a scummering along the upper edge over time, build up on the water that's floating on the water has been attached to the wall. And that's what the, the functional part of tile is to make that easy to clean. So when you're picking colors, pick colors that they don't have to match exactly, but stay in the same genre, the same family. This happens to be a quartzite stone that has a lot of little different nuances of color. So we pick the tile that has a little bit of nuances of color. It doesn't have to be a real big drastic change, nor does it have to be exactly the same. As long as you pick the colors and the materials right, our grout is just slightly off white. Instead of using white, white would have just jumped out. We use just an almond, it's just slightly off white. And same with the stone. The stone that you can see is, has got uh, some black edging, that's got all come off. That technically is, to know what that is, that's off of our shotcrete pump hoses when we were pumping the patio. The hose was rumbling along the edge. We had to run it just the way that's built here. We had to run it through the pool and out. And as we moved along, we left a little bit of our hose on there. So that will get acid washed at the end and get cleaned up and it'll look perfect. And then we'll have nice clean stone meeting the, uh, the tile.